Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the 1987 Super Mod. I'm your host, as always, Brad Drake, and this is Championship Wrestling from Florida. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, the CWF is traveling over to Clearwater, Florida, where we are going to run a show in the Clearwater High School Gym. Now, unlike the AWA save, this is not a spot show. This is us trying to regrow from nothing. So this is a regular show and a cost-effective way for us to make money. Let's take a look at our backstage incidents. Uh-oh, Scott Steiner and Ric Flair. <laughs> Little did they know that 20 years down the road, they would absolutely hate each other. All right. Uh, Scott Steiner in the mirror, drinks, yada, yada, yada. Everybody knows it's a bunch of BS. Flair would be buying the drinks. All right. Danny Hodge and Mitch Snow. Good. Hodge is going to take on Snow as a protege. Now, let's take a look at who's absent. It's a Saturday night show. It's not looking good for us here, folks. <laughs> Just take a look at how many people are gone. So, we will have to book the show the way we've been booking the show here. And that, of course, is by checking to see who's actually here. And... uh we have quite a few wrestlers available, so it's not the end of the world. I thought Baron Von Rotschke was gone already. I guess not. Um, Let's see, do we have any of our title holders here? We have Mike Graham, no Steve Kern. We have Brad Armstrong, TV title holder. We do not have Pez Watley for the junior heavyweight title. Okay, we have Samu, we have Kokina. Okay, we have to build our card here. So, um, what are some of the big names here? Oh, Shaska Watley is available. I was looking under Pez, that's why. Okay, we're going to put... The Florida Junior Heavyweight title on the line. So that one is set. And then, um, I don't know if we're going to use Brad Armstrong. We'll definitely use Mike Armstrong. So we'll go ahead and reset. Let's see. Be pretty cool if we could see. Okay, we can check for popularity. So let's check for 70. Let's see who's over. This is different doing it this way. I've never done that before. All right, here's our main event. Why don't we put... The World Tag Team Champions are available. The Rock and Roll Express is available. Okay, let's go with a tag match for our main event. The Rock and Rolls are definitely serviceable. Let's put Manny Fernandez versus Rick, I'm sorry, Ron Garvin as the semi main. All right, no reason to use. TV title here. So we will just look for wrestlers here. And let's see what else. We got Buddy Landell. Why don't we put Baron Von Rotschke versus Buddy Landell? And then we do have, we have the Samoans available. We also have Brad and Bob Armstrong. Why don't we do Super Samoans versus the Armstrongs? 
And who's going to be the opponents here for the Rock and Roll Express? Don't want to use Ric Flair, even though we could. Let's take a look here. We got Ron Bass, great heel. Vladimir Petrov. Where it gets interesting. You know what? The heck with it. Let's do Rock and Roll Express versus Rudin Fernandez. And um, why don't we put Ron Bass versus Ron Garvin. Better yet, Tony Anthony versus Ron Garvin. Who's the junior heavyweight that's going to battle Shaska Watley? Could have Mike Graham, but it doesn't make any sense. Mike Graham is one of the Florida Tag Team Champions. All right, let's get let's get Shaska Watley off there. Let's get Sting a singles match. Sting can wrestle Richard Sartan. And in the opener. We can have Ranger Ross versus Ricky Vaughn. All right, we are all set here, folks. Um, again, Clearwater, Florida High School Gym. In our opener, we're going to have Ranger Ross versus Ricky Vaughn. The Super Samoans are going to battle the Armstrongs in tag team action. Richard Sartan will face Sting. Baron Von Rotsky is going to face Buddy Landell in our semi-main. Tony Anthony is going to battle Ron Garvin. And in our main event, the Rock and Roll Express will face the world tag team champions, Rick Rude and Manny Fernandez in a non-title match. Let's get to booking. All right, Ross versus Vaughn here in the opener. That is a 12-minute bout. We'll leave this one open-ended. We'll let the AI decide who's going to get the win there. Next, we have the Super Samoans and the Armstrongs. And we'll also leave that one opened, but I would assume that the Armstrongs will take the win. Next, we have Richard Sartan versus Sting. That one's going to go 14 and probably won't be very good. Because at this point, Richard Sartan is not very good. So Stinger with the win here. And next, we have Baron Von Rotschke and Buddy Landell. Buddy Landell's going to win this one by cheating. So here we go. Landell's got the win. Tainted win. 
Next, Tony Anthony and Ron Garvin. You know what? These two should be going 16 here. This one should be 18. And of course, Ronnie Garvin's going to get the win here. I always liked Ronnie Garvin. That guy was solid. And I was just saying, one of my favorite feuds of all time. And I realized he was past his prime. I think it was 1990 when Ron Garvin came to the WWF. He had this feud with Greg Gagne that went on forever. And uh, they had a submission match with the, the shin guards. And then Garvin got retired. And then he announced them and was insulting them as an announcer. <laughs> insulting uh, Greg Valentine. It was just really good stuff and really entertaining. And uh, that was one of my favorite, favorite memories of uh, Ron Garvin. All right, so Garvin gets the win here. And, of course, here is our big main event, which is the Rock and Roll Express. There's a lot of star power here for a high school gym. There's a the Rock and Roll Express. And there is Rudin Fernandez. And this one is going to go to a draw. I'm sure somebody's going to complain. Nobody complained. All right. We are ready to go ahead and start this show, everybody. And let me tell you, booking this way is not easy. I really like just having a card ready to go and things in order and disciplined and you can't do that. It's uh it's very difficult. All right, so Ricky Vaughn gets the win here over Ranger Ross in the opener. And as I predicted, the Armstrongs get the win over the Super Samoans, who are still very young here and just starting out, but uh, also very talented and they have some serious beef on that side of the ring. And 70 for this one. It's a good score for these two teams. All right, Stinger gets the win here over Richard Sartan, 49 overall. He wins with the Scorpion Deathlock. Next, Buddy Landell beats Baron Von Rotschke with that figure four. Got a 69 overall. I'll take it. And Ron Garvin gets the win over Tony Anthony with that knockout punch, which by all rights should have been illegal. But they allowed it back then. I never never quite understood it. But I, I probably a better finisher, though, than the, uh, the Garvin Stomp. But I could be wrong. I could just be impartial here. Whoa, look at that main event. 94 overall. That's a terrific main event. Wow, what a score. Let's see if there was any takeaways here. Some fatigue. That's it. But a 94 overall. What a score. Wow. We'll go ahead and finish this one up. 85 overall. And yeah, we can make a speech. Let's point out Ricky Morton. Let's point out Robert Gibson. And let's point out Rick Brood. These three really shined. Ricky Morton's pleased, Robert Gibson's pleased, and Rick Rude is pleased. They're as pleased as Rick Rude can get. All right, we are going to have... I've been changing with the fonts here. So, I'm going to plug this new one in here. Get that back to white, and then we'll reset for the next show. There may be another show... Tonight, we are doing the real schedule here, so I can't be exactly certain. And, and it is, yeah, Saturday night show. Oh, so that show. That show should have been 37. I'm confused. The next event is 38. So somewhere here I messed up. So let's double check 38 here and then we'll add it into the system properly. 
and it's going to be Friday of week four, May. And of course, that's not going to be the venue. We'll adjust it when need be. I could have messed up with that during that TV debacle. That could have been our major screw up there. All right, let's take a look and see what's going on here. Tony Anthony has now gone to Flappy. <laughs> and we got a 0.23 TV rating. So almost 177,000 viewers. And everybody is tired and needs to heal here. Which I always found ridiculous in this game. Because all of you that are old school wrestling fans know like I do. These guys wrestled seven days a week. They were not going to get fatigued after wrestling three days in a row. There's just no way. So I find that fatigue thing in this game just be total BS. <laughs> just my opinion. All right, uh, let's take a look at our figurehead potential here. Let's see who could be a potential figurehead. And it's looking like nobody. Yep, nobody's ready. Yeah, nobody's ready. So that's all right. So this continues to get really interesting here. So we have our next live event here in five days. And then um, we're going to be having television tapings again here soon, too. So our TV taping last one was for the week of May, four, uh, the fourth week of May. So that's what we're taped for television through. So. That means the first week of June is going to be our next television taping. So, hey, like I said before, everybody, this is catch as catch can because we never know what our roster is going to look like since we're so heavily dependent on Crockett. And then uh, I decided to take on the challenge and run the actual tour schedule of Championship Wrestling from Florida. We're going to continue to do it because I'm taking this challenge head on here. And I think we're doing pretty good so far it's going to be tough to put together storylines or anything like that so i think we're just gonna to have to tra treat this as a as a traveling athletic contest um until things settle a little, little bit here and we figure out um exactly who's for the, here for the long haul and who isn't because i haven't been able to establish that yet uh, we can check our contracts here but i don't think we exactly know So, uh, who's getting paid the highest? Ric Flair. Coquina's getting some money there, too. $20,000 a month. That's ridiculously inaccurate. Oh, the Road Warriors are getting $30,000 a show. Oh, but the funny part about this is, is that every time we use them, uh, we're not paying for it. Crack it is. So, does it really matter? I don't know. I've never played as a child company of somebody before. I don't know if we're going to end up getting fired here or how this works. I know finance-wise, uh, we'd have to see what we started out with. And I don't even remember, so I don't even know if we're doing any better with money or if we're doing worse. But uh, this is interesting. That's all I can say. This is this is fun. It's It's exciting, and it's really interesting to see uh, how things go here. So stick with us, everybody, and we're going to keep giving this uh, championship wrestling from Florida a run here. This is it's the toughest save I've ever done. I've never done one this, this hard before. So uh, if you haven't done so already, everybody, please hit that subscribe button, give us a like, and share this video with your friends. There's not too many CWF uh, series going out there. So this is probably the only one. So share it. It's unique, and I'm sure other people will Really get a kick out of it. Also, join us on Facebook, facebook.com slash groups slash 1987 Supermod. And for those of you who uh, are also interested in the PowerCast Network, you can find that Facebook page at facebook.com slash PowerCast Network. Last but not least, if you would like version 8 and you have not gotten it already, please go to braddrake.net, drop me a line. I'll be more than happy to send you over a link to the database and the picture pack. And finally, everybody, 
Join us on Patreon. You can catch all these videos weeks in advance. Patreon.com slash Powercast Network. Thank you, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow. Did you know that you could advertise on this channel? Well, you can. Call 815-290-9087 and talk to me today about advertising on our channel. We get over 3,500 hits. We also have a thriving website. We can come up with all sorts of packages for you and make things happen together. Again, that's 815-290-9087 or visit braddrake.net.